I ended up with this group because uh, we're feeling a bit isolated at home and the health people suggested coming along to groups like this to meet another mum. Um, so I did that and then that was helpful because sharing experiences, you discover that other people are going through similar things to you. And What's it like when you're, when you're sort of feeling isolated and you're having to go through this stuff? Is it much more difficult? Yeah. Yeah, um, because... Well, it just initially because I was sore from my stitches and things, um, I, and he was feeling so much that I just felt like I was glued to the set A and couldn't get. So by the time I did get to a group like this, I was just so desperate to. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And so coming here, you've met people who basically going through the same thing you are, yeah? How's yeah. that? Um, it's been good, like, and sharing, just sharing experiences and how they dealt with things, and also, um, you know, when you're going through something, you think that it's so hard, and like, nobody understands, but then when you come along to the people, and people say, well, I had that, and this is how I dealt with it, and it's, and how is he liking it? He looks very happy and very healthy. And then when he's seen it all. Yeah. Oh yeah? Do you yes. like seeing the other babies and the mums, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, it, it's good to still come along to this, because um, we're starting solids and expressing now, and I was kind of thinking I need to drop out of a group like this because I'm not feeding as much as I was doing, but you can still get advice about expressing and, and about solid food and that even from a breastfeeding group. What would your message be then to yeah. any other, other mums who might be looking at this? Um, definitely come along and, and get the support. 